Arenberg Trench tomorrow. It'll be really bumpy. But for now, a smooth journey in the luxury coach with our driver who's just fallen asleep at the wheel. Hang on a minute. I just, I just put some radar. That is tough now. Good afternoon and welcome to today's video. I'm in France for Hot Chili's Roubaix. The ride is actually tomorrow, so today we're doing a cobble masterclass with Magnus Baxter. We're gonna have a quick spin around, get used to the cobbles. I've only had one coffee today and I have a headache. As I said, I haven't actually ridden cobbles the size of the ones in Roubaix before and the gap in between is, is big, bigger than on a bike tire. Hopefully I'll get some much needed advice, although I think I know what the advice is already, and that's speed is your friend. You just need to ride. The faster you ride, the less chance you have of falling off. Can't tell you how bad this headache is. I blame coffee, or lack thereof. Hot Chili, we're a global events company, so we do four events a year. Um, this is our classics event, so we do Roubaix, um, doing the cobbles of Roubaix. London, Paris are biggest event. Uh, we take 450 riders a year from London to Paris. Uh, earlier this year we did um, Cape Ruler in South Africa. It's a four-day event in South Africa um, and we have a, an Alps route as well to so do Alpine Challenge in Europe. Um, so our, our kind of USP is we're kind of professional event for amateurs. Um, so we have um, Mechanical support, full mechanical support, um, motorbike outriders, so rolling closed roads, and uh, and you get to ride with the ride captain on, like the front, on the front of the group like me. <laughs> so we've got Cobbles Clinic this afternoon, um, so we're going to go down to the Arenberg Forest and uh, yeah, see, see how the bikes, bikes do. We ride on the different side of the road here, and uh, it's easier if you ride on the correct side of the road here because you'll avoid the oncoming cars. If you puncture, just pull over to the side and we'll sort you out quick smart and be on your way. So number one, um, and that's all. I'll pass over to uh, Maggie, who's gonna give us a few tips on, on riding the cobbles. Thanks, yeah. Maggie. Couple of things that's really quite key going into these, uh, these cobblestone sections and for the whole day that you're riding. Look far ahead, look about, pick your spot about 50 meters ahead of you all the time. <coughs> So you're not just staring at what's happening with your front wheel. If you're looking at where your front wheel is currently, then you're gonna miss all the big bumps and you're gonna ride straight into them. You got puncture, you potentially crash. Any quick maneuvers on cobblestone, especially if they are slightly damp, uh, which there's a chance that they might be, we're very likely to see on your backside. So if the bikes, if you're riding on the ridge in the middle, which is the smoothest part, the moment your bike starts drifting off that, don't try and fight it and steer back onto it. Let the bike drift and in one way or another at some point you try and sort of gently push it back up to that ridge again. That whole idea of biggest gear you can turn over, forget it, it's all about high cadence. The bike will feel like it's slightly loose underneath you, it's never really touching the ground, but the higher the cadence that you run, the easier it is to deal with anything, the easier it is to keep the, you know, keep the speed going. Lose grip on the handlebars, the moment you start gripping, you will get to the other end and you won't be able to open up your hands quite key for braking, changing gears and so on. So just grab it, close your fingers over, but let the, let the, basically let your hands rattle loose along the, uh, along the, the top of the bars. Don't touch your front brake. So that, I think that's probably the, uh, the gist of it. So we're gonna do this is about two and a half kilometers of um, five star cobblestones. One of the worst sections that we uh, can possibly hit. Um, there's probably this uh, Carrefour de Labre is as, as bad as this is. Um, it's usually not a place where we sort of win the bike race when we're racing Ferro Bay, but it's certainly one where you lose it. And about 5k up that direction is where all hell breaks loose. And it's probably the biggest lead out train, sprint train, whatever we want to call it, going into this, stone, this cobblestone section here. And uh, it's quite a special feeling when you're hitting them at about 65, 70 k an hour. We're going to ride up the cobblestones. When we get to the top, we'll regroup. And then there's a pathway on, the, on our right-hand side, our left-hand side when we're coming back. And we'll ride back the other way so we don't, uh, 
we don't crash into riders that are doing their dry runs. You ride the cobbles all the way down there, get a feel for what tomorrow is like. Judge your pacing and so on. This, this is, like I said, two and a half kilometers of, of cobbles. There's quite a bit more to do tomorrow. So just... <laughs> How are you? It's you flattered already? Oh, yeah. a million miles an hour. Yeah, I entered at 51 kilometers an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. You should take off there and you land yeah. about down yeah, by the bridge. Sort of, Hello, very tanned. Where have you been? Outside. He oh. doesn't have a job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just rides his bike all Good the time. Same. What? <laughs> Let's the water run off. Yeah. It's piddling it's down, this this down this morning. It was piddling down this morning. My socks are too short, they call me fat. Is that what's going to happen while on the internet, my viewers? I promise they'll be nice. Guys, be nice to him. Have you, um, you got any special extra hot chili advice for this? Um, you know what? The, hard, the harder you go, it seems counterintuitive. The harder you go, because there's, there's like a happy medium where it's, it's actually a bit easier. If you're going too slow, you just feel every single bump. Most of the sections are like, a kilometre and a half long. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much all less than two k's. So you're talking like maybe like a five minute effort. You're quite fast, that one. Mm hmm. Pretty fast. I don't know who he is, but. <laughs> I can confirm the Sony camera strap is not as secure as the Inno clip and it flaps in front of the camera which is annoying. Alright! Way down with that guinea pig. Can you start interfering my filming please? It'll be secure enough for some of the ride tomorrow but I don't think the whole ride. I'll have to chuck this camera in the car for a bit. Have you got any special Nibs advice? Yeah, get really drunk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's gruesome. Day one. <laughs> and that's, that's day one. <laughs> that's, that's 3K. Day, day, day one, 3K. <laughs> So that was a pretty good taste of the cobbles. I'm glad we went and did that just to get an idea of what they're like um, without going in completely blind. Now it's beer and dinner time. No beers for me. Remember what happened last time? I'm feeling pretty confident on the cobbles. As I said, camera might be a bit of an issue, but there's no sections over three kilometers, I don't think, so it'll all be good. Shaped glass. It's a mighty shaped glass indeed. <laughs> oh, my baby one! <laughs> it honestly looks like a... It's, it's so an equal baby phone camera. No. Oh. Like a toy one, I'll just take photos. It does take photos. It's supposed to be real. But... <laughs> I've got those, huh? but not the beat ones. Taking a photo of my shoes? Yes, I'm taking a photo of your shoes. Yeah. Because they're still white, well, nearly still yeah. white, apart from that toe. But I might have to get my wet wipes out for you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Yeah, these only look, they only look right when they're dirty. Can you clean them for me? <laughs> <laughs> OCD. I recognise you from YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. it's, it's like my apartment. It's your home. I have no time to clean it. No, no you time. Li you live in this van. Because then they, then they book me in in the future, no hotel. Ooh. Do I have Mark Cavendish in there? Mark? No. Mark. No, Mark. No. Smells of chemicals Mark. in here. <laughs> the racking in here is just so sorted, you can get all the bikes in. How many bikes can you fit in there then? 406. <laughs> it depends if you just <laughs> stack them in there. 16, 16 racked. But, uh, in the Plus. Past, <laughs> I, I remember oh, one event I had uh, 35 bikes in there. Good lips, this tiny little camera. Welcome to the fourth edition of the Hot Chili Spring Classic. Uh, we're 111 kilometers tomorrow. And for those that disappear in the field, probably about 112. So there's 18 Parve sections. We did one today. <laughs> and Magnus Baxter, if you'd like to come up here and uh, we can do a lot of discussion. So, can I just say I'm, something first? Yes, of course you can. Well, 
It's really, really, really nice to see there's so many people here tonight have embraced the air I had in. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of today's antics. Everyone looks prepared or drunk. Nibs is drunk. Should be an interesting ride tomorrow. I need to get some sleep and edit this vlog. And tomorrow we hit the cobbles big time. It's about 111k. Thanks again for watching as usual. I'm glad the camera survived. Good night. <laughs>